Sir Amarchand Mangaldas carries on the legacy of uh, Amarchand Mangaldas, which is you know now more than a hundred years. We are the largest law firm in the country, more than a uh, hundred and fifty uh, partners or so, uh, and about seven hundred plus lawyers. Uh, the exact number varies on a day-to-day basis, of course. We have, uh, as a firm, been very focused on the infrastructure and the financing side. From the very time when uh, you know the economy opened up in '91, uh, and even before that, uh, we've been traditional lawyers for many of the large financiers who, are, who have been focused on infrastructure in India, and who have been long-term kind of uh, creditors uh, or you know uh, long-term lenders in this market. That's where the history began with infrastructure for us. Uh, it's continued into the opening up of the economy, the opening up of the power sector, the opening up of the road sector, the opening up of the airport sector, <clears throat> moving on to renewables, electric vehicles, um, you know, sustainability. And uh, along with it, um, you know, hand in hand, the public markets, both on the debt and the equity side, the m and market, which is burgeoning, the P market uh, and the P clients who have become so interested in this area over the last few years um, and disputes and regulation. So, uh, you know, without boring you about financing and things of that kind, this is what uh, infrastructure means to uh, CAM and uh, to me personally as well. The reason I like GRI and, you know, uh, and, and the reason I've been involved in a very interested way for a long while now is because uh, just as um, I like to think of myself as looking for new connections and new ideas and new people, I think GRI has been kind of fostering that um, both as a forum and as you know uh, adding people of new areas of interest. I think I look to GRI for uh, not just the people, I think the first thing I look to GRI is looking at ideas and new ideas being discussed or ideas being discussed to find solutions. Uh, it's a great place for industry and importantly some um, some of the regulators and government officials to come and interact. I have been in CAM now for 20 years. So this has been my first and only job. So I have done, started out as a project finance lawyer and uh, at a time when project financing was not there in India. Uh, you know, the for big foreigners had all left the country and we were uh, looking at no projects being built. That's when I started off as being a project finance lawyer and uh, I've now come to head effectively the infrastructure and financing practice of the firm across the board, uh, you know, be it, be it uh, infra or non-infra and recently taken up the responsibility of being the co-head of the financial institutions group as well, which seemed to be a natural extension of um, the work that I, I was doing and some new challenges as well. I'm a Bangalore boy to start out, uh, though unfortunately now it seems like more a Bombay boy than a Bangalore boy. I've spent more time now in Bombay than in Bangalore. Those are the two cities I've lived in. Um, I grew up in Bangalore, uh, you know, going to school there and went to law school there as well at the National Law School. So the moment I graduated, I moved to this city, uh, the city of Mumbai. And this is where I've grown uh, entirely uh, as a professional. I used to spend a lot of time with books, so I, I'm a bit of a collector of different kinds. Um, I think that's the one way I would say. Started out with an abiding interest in history, which then moved into uh, once I could afford things, a uh, bit of a collector. So over the last few years, I've focused uh, a lot of time on uh, old maps of India, you know, antique maps of India. Then there is uh, bronzes from a particular part of Kerala, which is there is a particular art form called Tayyam and uh, associated Uta festivals. So there is a specific bronze uh, that, uh, that, you know, all of them use bronzes of animals and animal heads. So I'm a big collector of that. And um, I continue to kind of listen to a lot of uh, Carnatic classical, which is, uh, so it used to be jazz and Carnatic classical, it's now more Carnatic classical.